Today I'm here to talk to you about Canon's latest release of its full frame entry level mirrorless camera, the new EOS RP as well as the comparison between its big brother, the original EOS R camera. You'll notice that the EOS RP is smaller and lighter than its original EOS R. Um, I love the feel of the new EOS RP. However, if you feel the body's just a little bit too small for you, there is an extra grip that's available to just extend that out a little bit. Just attaching that extra grip on the bottom just gives it that, that extra little something. Both have the varied angled LCD screens, which is great. Uh, similar size, however, this is a one megapixel LCD screen, whereas this is a two megapixel screen. As we spin these cameras around, let's have a look at some of the differences on the back. One of the things that you'll notice is the viewfinder. They are an electronic viewfinder, but with the EOS R, it does have a slightly larger viewfinder here and a softer covering. That together with the higher resolution of the screen does make autofocusing a little bit better on the EOS R. The other thing that you'll notice is the multifunction bar and the LCD screen on the top have been removed on the EOS RP and replaced with the traditional mode dial here. On the top of the camera, you'll notice a slight difference. The EOS RP has its lock button built in, so you can customize what features you disable when you activate the lock. On the EOS R, you do have that feature, the lock is here. So you'll notice on the top of the EOS R, there is an extra button here for functionality for that top LCD screen. With a bigger camera in the EOS R, you can afford to have a bigger battery. So the battery in the EOS R does last a little bit longer than the EOS RP, but it's also an advantage for the EOS RP as well, keeping it in a more smaller, compact body. So moving on to a few things that you can't see on the outside of the camera, uh, let's talk about the internals. So with the EOS R, it's a 30.3 megapixel CMOS sensor. With the EOS RP, it's a 26 megapixel camera. They both have a full frame CMOS sensor. The EOS R shoots at five frames per second where the EOS RP is four frames per second. The EOS R has up to 5,000 autofocus points that can be selected. Both the EOS RP and the EOS R are exceptional at focusing low light with up to minus six stops EV for the AF. So they're both outstanding cameras in terms of their autofocus. If you're shooting video, the EOS R does have the slight edge with 4K recording and 10-bit output. It also has Canon log settings. The EOS RP is still great for taking video. It shoots at 4K with 8-bit output. Another really nice feature that I like about the EOS R is the shutter that comes down to protect the sensor as you take the lens off. Um, for me, the EOS RP was just a really comfortable camera to pick up and use straight away. I love the old EOS mode dial. I find really comfortable to jump through the, those different settings. And I do love to customize my C1, C2 and C3 video features. Um, I found adjusting the shutter speed, the aperture and the ISO just seamless today. And it was a camera that I feel comfortable working around having owned DSLRs for years. I'd be a really happy customer to have the EOS RP. Yeah, I love it. So that's some information about the key advantages and differences between these cameras, but at the end of the day, you need to find the one that feels right for you.